Вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna do range shader effect that you can use in compositing or to make a material for 3D rendering or games. Let's jump right into After Effects and do this. So let's start from creating new composition and set the size 2K, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. And let's rename it to range shader. I will set my comp size to 1K for faster workflow. Now we need to create a new shape layer. Check that fill option is off and the stroke size is about 5 pixels. Now take a pen tool and make a straight line from top to the bottom. Let's unfold the shape layer and go to the shape options, stroke, and let's start to do some magic. Let's find dashes, hit plus. On that moment we need to play with the gap and dash and hit plus again and break the line. In the end it must look like a Morse code but vertical one. To get rid of sharp edges we need to go to line cap and choose round cap. Then let's go and find wave. wave, after wave. Play with the amount and wave length. That will give us more uniform results. When it's done, just hit enter and rename it to leak static. With the layer selected, you need to open effects and presets or video copilot FX console and find the turbulence displace effect. On effects controls, let's find the complexity, amount and size and change the parameters for we get the wavy effect. When it's done, let's duplicate the effect and reset it Choose Twist Displacement and also play with the amount and size, that will help to make small details. Duplicate effect third time, reset it and choose Bulge Displacement. Here we need a really small size numbers and play with the amount to get more organic look. When you're satisfied, just repeat it a couple more times to get more leaks options. Then we need to create new adjustment layer, call the layer Blur and apply the directional blur effect. Make blur length bigger and after apply fast box blur effect, set blur radius to 1. Then let's create a new solid and name it particles static. Apply the trap code particular effect. Now we need to reach the static raindrops look. Raindrops. Let's solo that layer. Go a little forward on the timeline and then you need to move the layer on the left and extend it. Go on emitter settings and emitter type set to box. Then go to emitter size, choose individuals, play with the numbers to cover all the areas with the particles. On particles per second choose the higher number and let's scroll down. Set velocity to zero because now particles are flying away and we need them to keep the initial position now. We still have a flickering effect and we need to get rid of it. For that let's go to particles tab and increase the lifetime. Here we can change the size and also play with the size random to get even more random look. And make sure that emitter size covers all the working area. Choose the moment on a timeline when you're satisfied with the amount of the particles. Click on a timeline particles per second. Hit U to see all the keyframes. Go one frame forward and set particles per second to zero. Then move the layer to the left and extend it the way you not see the keyframes anymore. Apply the turbulence displace effect and then choose type to bulge and play with the size and amount to make more organic look of the drops. Let's unsolo this layer and put it below the blur adjustment layer. That way this layer will inherit all the blur effects. Finally, let's choose all the layers and do the pre-compose. Call it static, now it will be collected all in one piece and not taking so much space. Now let's create a new layer and call it drizzle small. And let's find the particular effect and apply it. We need to see these particles immediately, so the easiest way is just to shift this layer to the left and extend it again. Now let's jump to the settings, open emitter tab and go to the emitter type and change it to the box. Change emitter size to individual and play with x and y size to cover all the area. And don't forget to change velocity to zero. Change life duration to one second. Now it starts to look like a drizzle, but not completely. Let's enhance that look by changing size parameter and size random. Also let's change opacity random a bit. Then let's go to size over life and extend the window a bit for you can see presets button and choose this graph. Now it looks more like a drizzle. Let's continue to enhance that effect. To do that let's go to physics and up the gravity parameter the way particles starting to fall a bit. 
Now let's apply the echo effect. To get the necessary result, we need to change the echo time parameter to very low values. Now we can see the trace effect for each drop. Don't forget to increase number of echoes to 10 or 15 to get rid of dots effect. To solve the problem that upper part is thicker than lower, we simply need to decrease the decay to lower numbers. Now when it looks like a small drops, we need to add the directional blur effect. Here we need just to increase blur length. To add more details, we need to add the turbulence displace effect. Change type to bulge and play with the amount and size numbers to get organic look. We're done with this one, let's do second one with longer trails. Simply duplicate this layer, solid, let's rename it to drizzle mid, and let's delete all the effects but particular, reset the particular effect, and let's do some changes. Choose type to box, change emitter size to individual, and change X and Y size to cover all the area. Change random seed effect to get different look from previous one. Set velocity to 0. Then let's go to particles, change the particles life to 3 seconds, change size and size random. Also, on size over life, let's choose this preset. Let's play with the opacity random. Then let's go to physics, gravity, set it on 100 or around this number, and let's play with the time factor and increase it to 1.5. Now it looks like snow, but let's continue to work on this effect. On physics air, let's go to turbulence field. For better understanding what we are going to do, let's check on the visualized fields. And let's play with effect position, and you will see how the visualized fields will represent how much distortion do we get. Set evolution speed to zero. Now let's play with the following parameters to get a subtle distortion result. Now, when our particles have their own weekly path, don't forget to check off visual fields to not rendering it in the end. After, let's go to auxiliary system and turn it on to continuously. Change size. After it, let's go and change particles per second. Let's increase this number. Now we have a trails and it's quite dotted, but don't worry. Let's change the life to 0.2 seconds. Let's increase the particles number to 100 for now. Also, let's change life random just a bit. Change the particle velocity to really low number, 4 or 3. Then also change the inherit velocity just a bit. Let's add the turbulence displace effect. Play with the parameters to get more wiggly look. Don't forget that you can increase complexity number to get even more detailed result. When you're done and satisfied, simply duplicate the turbulence displace effect and change the type to twist. Here we need to play with the numbers to get small detail wiggly look. Then let's duplicate turbulence displace again and change type to bulge and play with the numbers to get organic look. Here we need to set size to really low numbers. In the end, let's add the directional blur effect and just change the blur length. Finally, let's add fast blur effect and change the blur radius to 1. You can tweak the particles per second parameters for get more or less particles. For now, I will set it to 20. Now pause this video and do the third layer by yourself following the same logic and randomizing the numbers. When you're done, you will get something like this. After it, we can go to the next step and create the leaks effect. To do that, let's create a new solid layer, call it leak1 and press OK. Let's add our good old friend particular, solo that layer, scroll the timeline somewhere to the middle for we can see what is going on. Change direction to directional. Then let's add more velocity for we can see better which direction we choose. And let's set the X rotation to minus 90 degrees. Then let's change emitter type to box, change it to individual, and play with X, Y, and Z position this time. Click on the position marker and put it a little bit upper. Make sure that it covers all the area. Set directional spread to zero, and let's change the particles per second to low values. Then let's go to particle. Here we need to change opacity random and tweak the size. Increase size random. Then let's open size over live graph 
and on presets choose this one. Click and drag on the graph to make the same graph as me. When it's ready, press Smooth button several times. Now it's time to go to Auxiliary System and turn it on to Continuously. Here we need to change several parameters. Particles per second, life per seconds. On that moment, let's go to Particles back again and copy this graph and paste this graph to Size over Life to Auxiliary System. Then let's adjust it a bit for make it a little smoother and don't forget to press smooth button several times. After we need to change size random parameter and also life random just a bit. Put particle velocity to very low numbers and also put the low numbers on inherit main velocity. Then we need to go to physics here. And on turbulence field, let's check on the visualize fields. When we see the distortion line, we can change the effect position. Let's change fading time to zero for our weekly pass starts immediately. Let's play with the scale and set the evolution speed to zero. When we set the evolution speed to zero, octane scale and multiplier can be set to zero also. After, let's finalize our weekly look and don't forget to check off the visual fields. Now let's add turbulence displace effect and play with the amount and size parameters to get even more wiggly look. When it's done, let's duplicate turbulence displace effect. Here we need to add small details to this wiggly path. Duplicate it again, reset it, and set displacement type to bulge. Here we need to play with the numbers to get organic look, like on previous drizzle effect. After we can adjust the particle numbers in particular effect, I prefer to keep it on really low numbers, something like 3 or 4. And of course, don't forget to randomize it by random seed. When it's done, let's add directional blur effect and increase the blur length parameter. The final step will be the adding fast blur effect and set blur radius to 2. Now we have a great looking leaks and you need to finish more 2 by yourself following the same logic and randomize the numbers. Don't forget to change random seed for each of it. When you're done, you will get nearly same result as me. Now you can unsolo all the layers and make a final adjustments. How you can see here of the screen, I added only the curves effect and on alpha channel, I increased the overall brightness. That's it. Now you have a beautiful rain shader that you can use everywhere you want. Hope you like it, learn something new, enjoy it. And don't forget to check my rain shader pack that is seamless, looped and ready for your games, rendering or compositing. Link is down below. Be my patron and get the tutorial project files and much more. And don't forget that half of your donation will be transferred to support Ukraine. So stand with Ukraine. Virtev zasu, tavse budu Ukraina.